stop the FOMO? Do you have a fear of missing out on amazing movie surround? We're talking about surround sound with Dolby Atmos, that 3D immersion everyone's talking about because, well, you maybe upgraded your soundbar or added a whole new AVR home theater system and you're not impressed. <laughs> well, you're not the only one. Neither was Patrick Schapper in our interview. A lot of Dolby Atmos mixings you can have in the market. It's not an object-based one because there's nothing moving around you or something like this. Yeah, There are no objects running around you, nothing. But first, let me introduce today's sponsor, WhoKeys. Yep, you just finished your big old PC Windows build. You have the best of the best. And sadly, you have less than $20 to your name. WhoKeys to the rescue. Use my code SF20 and immediate discount. Within minutes, you can download the Windows 10 Pro key and you're up and running. But that's not all, folks. WhoKeys has keys for games too. Steam, Origin, Uplay, you name it, you got it. Check out their sites. There are discounts for all sorts of stuff. And most importantly, you want to be productive? What about Office Suite? Yep, you can download a copy of Office Professional with my code SF20 at checkout and bam. And so in today's part three, we talk about the movies and content that truly take advantage of your home theater system, whether it's Atmos you're interested in or or 3 d or DTSX. It's all about how the movies use these formats. Well, the formats, that was part one. We talked about the three formats. Part two is the hardware, the speakers, the equipment that enable the formats to truly sing. And now for part three the actual movie immersion itself. It's about the movies you choose. And before we get into it, don't forget at the end of this video, we have a live Q and A with Patrick Shopper. Yep. So don't leave this video because today, after this premiere, go straight to a live Q and A session with Patrick. So if you have any questions about any of the three videos you've watched, ask Patrick later. And if you missed a live session, well, there's always a replay. All right. Let's get into it. Let's say I'm ready. I got my speakers up. It's in the perfect unified format for both or all three, Oro 3D, DTS, and Dolby Atmos. Like, cause this object oriented technology is supposed to be really great. But then you just mentioned that, well, maybe not, they're not doing it properly. What's wrong with movie content today? Why do some movies have great, Oro 3D and Dolby Atmos or DTS. And some movies, it just feels you're a 5.1 channel. It's not easy to answer because we need to get more a closer look behind the curtains. We had a little bit of a close look behind the curtains here in Germany. And we have some very fantastic German movies. Some of them are really kids' movies, are focused for kids, yeah. But mm -hmm. they have a fantastic Dolby Atmos mix where we said, how and how they did it. And then we spoke with the people where we were really the mixing and we find out that they're really enthusiastic people which say, we like movies. We like the technology behind. We are using 4K. We like the system Dolby Atmos and we are really hard working on it to get the most of this from the systems. And then we have other people which not really knows what is Dolby Atmos. They say, okay, Dolby Atmos. Okay, maybe it's important that I have a sign of this. Okay, make some effects and that's it. These are the two kind of people which are working behind the curtains and making movies. We have people which have a lot of passion. Yeah? Mm -hmm. also the people which make the best in, in Dolby Atmos and in Auro were really people which makes 24 hours and the night with passion content. And then we have others which make it not so much with passion. You can see it on the movies and you can hear it on the movies. Of course, it is so. So let's talk about movies with passion or movies with passion <laughs> for Dolby Atmos. What's your top three, top two movies that you would say, hey, now that you spent $5,000 on your system, buy this movie on Blu-ray or 4K. It is real Atmos. What would you recommend? The Mission Impossible. Mission Impossible. Which, the last which one? one? The, the last one. The last okay. one. The Mission the last Impossible. One. Last one is one of the best Dolby Atmos. Fallout. Um, Mission Impossible Fallout. I yeah, think, right? it is yes. one of the best Dolby Atmos. And you remember maybe that they made a small video before this pro this movie was going into the home market, and they said, "Hey, please, guys, stop 
all your technical features on your television. We like to show you without frame interpolation. We like to show you this and this. So uh -huh. it was very interesting that this director and the, the actor were really speaking to the audience and say, hey, we are investing so much money in making the movie, in the story, in the picture quality and in the sounds. Sounds they said, so not separately, but I understand them, the whole thing, when I heard the first time this movie in Dolby Atmos, because it has nearly on every main sequence the right sounds on the right loudspeakers and not 50 minutes, nothing. And if you want a helicopter with another, or you are in the streets <laughs> of Paris and nothing is happening around you. The crazy thing on this is in Germany, especially, this movie is not available in German Dolby Atmos on a disc. It's only available in German Dolby Atmos on streaming. What? And this is really, it is crazy. But the film industry is not focusing on the disc more. They are focusing more on streaming. And we said, yes, of course, streaming is nice to have, but please don't forget the people which are investing money to get the box and to take the box in the cinema and so on. And they like to hold your product in their hands. But yeah. it's really happening. So this is... Well, I didn't know this. So my question is, how is the quality of Dolby Atmos on streaming of this great movie? So Mission Impossible, amazing Dolby Atmos on disc. Is the streaming quality of this movie close? Now, yeah, it is from the effects, it's nearly the same. Also, I don't know wow. that, that there is a difference. The effects is all the same. They are wow. not making a streaming feature like we hear only this helicopter and then the first <laughs> one. <laughs> right. This is not happening. Also, okay. I'm very happy about this. So, no, Great. but what you have is you have a different dynamic. You have a different level. Maybe you heard it when you go to the turn off and I go to the turn off in my studio mm -hmm. and I hear something in streaming. I make, to, make it louder than I hear it from a disc. Mm -hmm. But this is technical wise. There is a different standard behind them to yeah. mix it for streaming and to mix it for the disc. Yeah. It's the same like to mix it for the cinema. That's right. different. Okay. But from the from the from the effects and all the rest, it's the same for our understanding. Uh, for That's my still pretty good. Yeah, yeah. This so, is okay. Wow. Mm -hmm. So if let, let's say you have a receiver and I plug in my Roku stick or Fire Stick or a Google TV. Chromecast device. If that's a streaming device, I, I put it into the AVR. The AVR receives the Dolby Atmos streaming. It can decode it. I don't have to send it from the TV to the AVR, right? It could go straight from a streaming source. Yeah. Uh, so an, Apple, an Apple TV, is it, there's, a, there's a small trick you have to notice. Okay. Uh, Apple TV 4K is supporting Dolby Atmos. That's fantastic. Okay. Uh -huh. But if you say, I like to use, or I like to hear this video in Auro 3D, then it's not possible because in the Dolby Atmos audio stream you get out by HDMI, there is not a bed. The bed is not inside. So you huh. need to switch in the configuration of your Apple TV then to stop Dolby Atmos output and go to normal Dolby Digital output. And then you get your bed and then it's enough for Auro 3D. Okay. And then Oral can upmix so, that. Okay. Yeah, that's the point. I, I, I heard it uh, last week with the, uh, what is it called? Uh, the, the zombie movie there in Las Vegas, Army of the Dead. The, mm, Army of the Dead is in Army of the Dead is in Dolby Atmos. And I heard it and I would say, yeah, it's very nice. It's very nice. The mixture, it's also available in Germany in German. So very nice. And there were, and I heard some people would say, no, I like to hear it in Aromatic. And they had no chance to, to change to Auro because in the manual of your Denon and Marins, there was no chance to switch it or to activate it. And this has to do, oh. you, know, you need to go into the configuration on the Apple TV 4K and to switch it to Dolby Digital Output. And then you can start with Aromatic. Interesting. Okay, yeah. we'll have to compare that. Yeah, wow. Yeah. Now, so so number one on the list is Mission Impossible, the last one. What's your number two demo? M music or movie? As a music is, I would say, uh, I like very much uh, different things here. And I think this is one which is amazing. What is that? Uh, this is John Williams. The John famous Williams. component from a lot of fantastic sound. Star friends. Wars, of course. Yeah. And he was together with Anne-Sophie Mutter. Anne-Sophie Mutter is a, a German uh, artist here. 
the, the lady in the background mm -hmm. there. And she together were making last year, shortly before Corona, God have luck, I really had really luck. He was personally in Europe and he was personally in Vienna and he was together with the Vienna Music, oh, I hope it's the right word, Vienna Music Orchestra, uh, yeah, together. And they were, they were, what's it called? Playing, yeah, playing the mo ma most famous soundtracks of John Williams. And this is recorded in Dolby Atmos. And what happened here, if you hear it in your small, big, whatever living room or cinema, you are re you get really from the first seconds, the feeling you are not sitting alone in your living room. You are really sitting in this music hall in Vienna. This is one of the best examples or samples, how you can use a 3D audio system to get the perfect sound and realistic sound in your private rooms. Let me ask you this. Does it use front wide speakers because we have, we talked about this before right yes it Most, is, it is. right it, it doesn't have a native front wide channel yeah. mix in there yeah not up mix right no 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 they have really a nine one maybe you can show a picture nine one four and i saw this and i said what's wow. going on here <laughs> Pete, what's going on here nine one four and i know the guys which were working on this project and i called them i said is it front wide they said, yeah, it is original front white. And front Very white nice. is supported by some movies also. And here we have really installed in one hour. I know one of my people were really installing directly two additional loudspeakers because with some of the Denon and some of the Merns units, you get the support. It's not only Trinoff. Trinoff can support much more of loudspeakers. Yes. But with a mainstream product, it is possible to support front white on Dolby Atmos. And yes, you sit down, you have the front white in front of you between the front and the side loudspeakers, surround loudspeakers, and you can hear it. You can really hear it. It makes really fun. So this is a very, very nice one. And it's a document because in open words, John Williams will be the last time I think so in Europe and will make this concert personally. And he yes. was so impressed by the musicians because these are one of the best musicians you have here on the world in the moment. Mm -hmm. And it sounds really good, a very nice product. So that's the reason why they made 3D sound system. Well, you, you mentioned that there are other movies and maybe music that does 9.1.4. What else can you list or remember? And I'll, I'll make sure to put links for everyone below, but this is, this is great because I don't know where to get this list. And this makes it easy for our viewers to say, oh, I will buy that now so I could enjoy front wide or overhead. What else? Also, the problem is when you have a front wide system on a Marantz and Dan, and you see it as an active loudspeakers in the info menu, but mm -hmm. it's, it's, it said nothing for you that there is really content or audio on this channel. It says nothing. It says only we have an activate system. So mm -hmm. sometimes you need really to hear it with your ear closely, closer, or you hear it really from your normal position because this is then the best. This is then, of course, the best. Right. Or you're working with a trin off. A trin off, you know, is then using these additional loudspeakers with yeah. a fantastic algorithm which is working behind. Yeah. Okay. So in open words, uh, I need to really check it exactly what others we have find out which are using this this is not the most the less of them are really using this and uh, mostly it is not signed i'm personally very angry about the industry that sometimes the uh the the sign also the, the the logos of the formats is so close on it that you have no chance to see it on an amazon homepage or you see it and maybe in the store it's so yeah. crazy normally you need to have it really huge on front of this because the people are really searching this content so yeah. industry is sometimes crazy i have no idea who's making the marketing that they said yes we have 3d sound but no we are not printing it so big on it because maybe it's irritating our customers. They have no idea what it is and they are not buying this maybe. That's really sometimes the thinking. Yeah. Well, they, they don't want you to know that maybe it's not proper 3D object base. Maybe they did, maybe they mixed it on a Atmos system, but they didn't really do Atmos justice, right? I mean, it's a container. It's an Atmos container, but there's nothing overhead. And 
so so far I've heard one movie that you're impressed by. Yeah, I, I, Mission I, I, Impossible. Mission Impossible. It's because this is a movie which is coming from really from 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 the production made by, with mm -hmm. them. Aquaman is another example which is poor, which is really poor. Poor. Yeah, uh, Aquaman, really no good. Poor. Unbelievable poor. <laughs> oh, sorry, guys. If you see this, sorry, go again in the sound stage and make up, it up, mix really it, right? great. Make up, it great mix, again. <laughs> up, mix Aquaman with Oro 3D. Yeah, yeah. That's, that sounds really good. No, what is interesting is that you can have, and it's the same in the US, that we have some new starts of old movies, which were really first time in HD, high, high definition, or maybe in 4K, and maybe first time in new sound formats. We have here in Germany a small company, it's called Turbine. Turbine. This yeah, company is focused on really restoration of old movies. And the newest one, which we were announced now, was Daylight and Dragonheart. And I know that both movies had a lot of fans worldwide. Dragonheart is a little bit a cult movie, no, I uh -huh. would say, because this was the first movie I didn't know after Jurassic Park, where the first time a computer animated dragon was speaking. Because most men, you know, T-Rex, well, he was not really speaking, so yeah. they had not too much animated. But the Dragonheart was the first time. And this movie is now available in Dolby Atmos English and German and in Auro English and German. And from the first second to the last, really last second, we hear the whole time the right audio on the top level. It's fantastic. There were two different studios mixing. One hour studio, the most galaxy, and one studio in Hamburg. So they were this, is, this is daylight. That's and the this one. Is daylight. daylight in the tunnel, the explosions. You get really a hot head if you hear this because you go there and there and you are looking. If you have maybe something <laughs> on your ceiling, which shows you whatever space or, or the stones and are coming is... down. This really? is the other one you talked about, Dragonheart. Yeah. yeah. And I will be That's linking it. this turbine site for everyone. Yeah, okay. it is possible. It is possible because I heard from the guys that they are now shipping to the U.S. Another one, and, 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 and look here. This is also unbelievable. Prince. Yeah, Prince, a Prince concert. This in, one. Yeah, this is, look, this is a crazy story. Prince okay. was in Amsterdam. And Prince decided, this is the story we heard from them, and they made interviews with the people nowadays, which were uh -huh. working together years ago with him on the concert. He had an idea to make a, to film his concert 24 hours before the concert. And so they have to organize a lot of people, cameramen and so on, to film this. And it was not filmed on video, it was filmed on 35 millimeter. So they have fantastic material to make an original 4K mix or high definition. Okay, this is now the DVD and the Blu-ray. And then together with the audio tracks they had find in the wherever it was, they made a really fantastic mix in our 3D and in Dolby Atmos. And you have wow. a fantastic atmosphere. You are really sitting on your chair and around you are the people and in front is Prince. This is the feeling. Close your eyes. You need not to see him. Close your eyes and you are really inside. So your two music suggestions are John Williams, <laughs> Concert, and Prince. I love it, right? A little bit of classical orchestra, symphony, and Prince, one of the top pop stars of our generation. So that, that's awesome. I, now it shows least... you the dimension. It shows you the potential. It, yes. It, look, if you see a movie, I saw a movie. Um, it was with John Wayne. I saw the movie, and this is a mono. This means only one Mono. Mono. Switch it to DTSX Neural, switch it to Dolby Surround, and switch it to Aromatic. You will be really surprised what happened in your room with the Mono original track. Please do it. Wow. I'll have to play with that. I never thought yes. about that. It so we go back to classic movies from the 50s and 60s. Everything yes. was in Mono. Yes. Fine. You, can, you can do this, really. And if you have stereo music, also... It's, it's really fun to, to check it and to, to find out what the dimension of this is and how you, can, how you can feel movies completely new. I saw some months ago with my son, he's now 16, the Alien movies, Alien. Oh, yes. I and love that series. They have so a fantastic sounds, yeah? But here it was an up mixer. You are really get more... <laughs> and uh, what is it called? I don't know. You got a little bit more nervous. Sweat. You get sweat. chill, sweats. Yeah, everything. Everything, everything of all of this. Yeah. 
So please try it. It makes really fun. And on the other side, when you take a look on the streaming, because you were asking me, where is the sources? So the disc is the sources and the sources is streaming. Mm -hmm. And of course, the streaming guys make really a good job that they are offering a lot. Then it's only the question, how good is the job of the mixing guys? Technology wise, they are really, it's really fully working. It's really fully working technical wise. Now, if I run it through Oro 3D, I wonder how good it would be or how different, right? Because you could do that also, or you cannot. No, you can do it. Uh, if you're using it with a, with, a, with a hardware system, like an Apple TV 4K, where the bed is not in the Dolby Atmos, remember, mm, yeah. please That's go to right. the configuration, change this, and then it's working. Yeah. What you will have on an Auro up mixer, on every up mixer, also on a DTSX one, is that you hear sounds when you hear nothing on the original Dolby Atmos. On the original, and you okay. Hear something. And sometimes the people say to me, yeah, but it needs not, it's not a need to have the whole time something from there. No, you don't understand this. Also please hear it personally and then you understand what the meaning of this. It has nothing to do that we have sounds there, which is only not there. That is not the point. These systems right. are so logical working. They are so natural working. You know, remember on the starting sequence on Star Wars, Again, for all the for all your view, viewers, which make me say maybe know some notes, which they like to check it at home when they see the movie or the video here. Um, the starting sequence of the new um, of the Millennium Falcon, the first time in the desert in the new movie. What was it? Uh, Force Awakens, no? Force Awakens, okay. Force Awakens. No? She's running into this old ship and saying, "Oh God, oh God, oh God!" And then she's starting, and the Tie Fighters behind them. You will hear on our own, in the original one, it was on the disc of only 5.1. You will hear in the aromatic that this machine is really, the Millennium Falcon is really flying above you. It's really flying above you. But the voices are coming from the front. Nothing is coming behind you or so, because this makes no sense. And mm -hmm. these systems are so logical. Wow. Really. That's the magic of upmixing. So you could play with Neural X, Oromatic, or, or Dolby Surround and see which one you like better. Which which up mixer do you like the best between the three for, for different use after, cases? I think after this hour is not a secret. It's of course the Auro. We made okay. so much experience and it is it is really fantastic. Yeah. Okay. We are using this also with the, we are using this also with uh, music, with only stereo music. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's, it's also very, very interesting. And um, I had I had a speech um, one or two years ago with uh, with the guy which is responsible for the engineering of um, uh, Arkham, Arkham okay. amplifiers uh, on ESE in Amsterdam. That's a very big exhibition. And he said to me, the reason why we have installed the Arrow system in the Arkham is that our customers like to get the best up mixer for the stereo or for the music. You know, Arkham is very focused on music, also yeah. on more multi-channel like the movies. But they said, really, we know that the content is not most of them. Yeah. But the app mixer is the best of them. And so we said, yeah, we can agree. And they are very uh, successful with the system. If you have any more questions right after this video is Patrick Shepard's live Q&A, where we sit and ask him questions further elaborating on, well, any of the details of the three videos you've watched. And if you haven't seen it, Go back and watch it later. And if you've missed the live interview, no worries. There's a replay, right? If you like this content, please click like or subscribe for more. Until next time or until that live interview right after this, stop the FOMO.